Okay, so we're replacing our pressure switch for the well, which lives in this hole on this upright, and our gauge. A little bit of a problem. Uh, came down the other day, and the well's continuing to run and not shutting off. And going, what the heck? Then I look at the pressure gauge, and the pressure gauge says... 54 PSI. So I thought, why is the pump running when the pressure gauge is at 54 PSI? So shouldn't kick on or off. Off. It's supposed to be off at 50 on at 30. And we're sitting at 54. I'm going, what's up with this? Well, look at the gauge. So I tapped the gauge, didn't move the needle, tapped it again. Didn't move the needle, so uh, tapped it again, broke the glass out of it. So now we have a new one to go in, and guess what? It's sitting on zero. This one's sitting on 54 when it's out of the system. So then I got a new, none of this stuff's very expensive, by the way. I think this gauge was like six, seven bucks in the new pressure relief valve right here. Uh, is but it was about 25 bucks if I remember right but here's a problem this gauge this 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 shut off this relay shut off was fed by this quarter inch nipple look at the top of it I don't know if I can get that against something where you can see it let me get a piece of paper here yeah. See the end of that pipe? Compare that end to this end, which is open. Look at that thing. It's completely full of schmoo. Unbelievable. So, <laughs> I don't know how this worked. I don't know... I guess the water was pushing against this whole mass and up into the pressure diaphragm. It looks just the same. And so you're getting somewhat of a working relay. But oh my goodness. And wonder how long the pump was stuck on. Oh boy. I hope the pump's okay. All right. Um, <laughs> we'll shoot it after we get it put back together later.